Yo, what's up? It's your man Kenny Bogus. So what we about to do today is a Philly cheese steak burrito, grilled to a perfection finish like a chimichanga style. Right here, right now. Taste this. Check it. All right. So getting started today, I went to my uh, butcher and got some thin cut ribeye steaks. To start it off with, so that's that's the first. That's what we're gonna start with first. So we take that, we go to the season, and we're gonna hit it with a little dust it real light with some garlic powder. Then I'm gonna go dust it real light, little onion powder, and then shout out my man Jose, uh, hooked me up with this this uh carne asada. Got a couple different things in it, but it's pretty cool. He recommended it for the steak. We're gonna see what it do, you know. We're gonna put a little bit of that on now. And then we're gonna finish it with, you know, look, you know, I had to hit it with the Lowry, little Lowry, just light, light on the Lowry's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hit both sides, you know, hit both sides of that. Had a little, little, little mistake there, but you know how we do, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, hit both sides of that. We're gonna flip it over, hit the other side. Then, yeah, so anyway, miss that. But then we go ahead, we take the, uh, once we season the steaks, you take one, we're gonna take it to a Screaming hot pan over here, the cast iron baby. Come back over here, grab another one, drop them over here, let them get busy. We're gonna let them go for about maybe uh two minutes because they real thin. We're gonna go two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, flip them, you know what I'm saying? So after two minutes, they should look like this is what it's looking like two minutes into it. Then Flip them. Oh, 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 Mr. App. Oh, Lord. Oh, don't catch that cut. Oh, no, we, we don't cut here, so, yeah. Flip them. Let that go another two minutes. Looking pretty, right? So, what I'm going to do right here is take one out. I'm going to move one to the side over here to this pan I pre-did. I chopped some up already. And then, with the existing oil that's in the pan, we're going to dump some onions up in there. A little onions, some pre-cut onions. Then we're gonna throw a little green peppers up in there and pre-cut up in there too. I'm gonna throw these green peppers up in there. Philly style, Philly style, baby, Philly style. And we're gonna, uh, you know, kind of mix them up until they get translucent in the oils and let that steak marinate one more again and then. Next thing you know, you looking at this. You got your steak in there. You got your onions. You got your peppers. And you just kind of mix that thing around. Let it marinate. Let them get happy together. And the thing about it, it's so tender. You, you know, I cut them up, but you can take your spatula and just chop it. It's so tender. So you do that. Let it do its thing for a second. Make a little noise. And man. Before you know it, you got this concoction looking all good and juicy and everything, you know. You got that steak Philly situation going, and now ain't nothing left to do but move over and have you a uh, flour tortilla in the cut over here. And then we gonna decorate them like this here. You put a little, little cheese, little nacho cheese in the middle, then you wanna go for your scrape. You go for, for your Philly. You want to dump a little nice, nice little amount of filling. You got your cheese and your peppers, and then in the middle, get your little more man. You know, don't be like that. I'm gonna spread it out like that. There, yeah. looks pretty good. And then we we wanna we wanna add a little maybe a little Asiago. Maybe wanna get a little Parmesan, a little Asiago up in there, a little shredded joint. Put that in there. Ain't gonna hurt none. Never hurt nobody. And then you might even. Want to just add a little, a little Kobe or something to that thing. Whatever cheeses you got, you know, cheeses, you know, cheeses hit a please, baby. So you do that. And then what we want to do is we want to kind of take it to the side. We give it a little, we want to funnel it kind of. You got all that in there. And then you can add whatever you want to. That's all I'm, I'm going to do. Just like the, uh, the meat lovers joint, meat and cheese. So we're going to fold it and we're going to kind of pull it back. That kind of everything fall up in there like that there. And we're gonna turn it into like a like a we're gonna roll it. We're gonna roll it. 
like a little, yeah, it ain't gonna hurt nothing to roll that thing up to a nice little burrito. I got a little cut in mine, but that's all right. It's just gonna make it sizzle a little more when, when it hit the skillet. But then you get it to looking like that, and I'm, I'm gonna, that's the fold, but I'm gonna put it right here so it don't come apart. And, and then we're gonna get ready to put it into a nice little skillet and a little bit of oil, a little EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, as Rachel Ray used to say. And then it's gonna look like this here. Then what happened is you take that boy and you wanna drop it. Let it sizzle. You put a little bit of oil in the pan over here. You let it do what it do. You see that? You know, that's the flow. You gotta be in flow. And it's this little pocket I told you about in my roll. I got an imperfect roll, but it's cool. It's cool. Don't don't trip if, if your roll is imperfected. You know, you just roll that thing around. It might be a little extra, a little mess in the pan, but that's all right. So we're going to turn that up. And what we're going to do is just brown it. Basically, all we're doing right now is just brown it on each side. So once we do this, we're going to flip it in a minute, and it's going to look like this here. Yeah, you flip them around. And lift them up. And they get to looking brown like that. And then when you're all finished, it's on the plate. It's on the plate like so, and like so, baby. And that's your meat lovers. I was about to call it a quesadilla. That's why I paused for a second. But we, this is the meat lovers Philly cheesesteak edition of the egg good roll. It's kind of deluxe, kind of plump egg roll. It's almost like a chimichanga, you know what I'm talking about? But uh, we're going to call it like an egg roll, you know what I'm saying? You slice that thing, and that's what you have. Delish. Right here on Taste This. Peace.